Hello fellow food lovers. Today I will be making a Chinese simplified Buddhist vegetarian feast also known as Lohan Jai with mung bean vermicelli. This is a vegan dish. You will need one can of Lohan Jai. I use Champion brand. Champion brand, it's the most common. Four bundles of mung bean vermicelli, about 160 grams total. One tablespoon vegetarian oyster sauce, one tablespoon soy sauce, one teaspoon sesame oil, one teaspoon sugar, and one tablespoon of ginger. Okay, I have a piece of ginger here. I'm going to cut the skin off and I'm going to mince it. I also have one can of Lohan Chai or Buddhist Vegetarian Feast. This is made by Companion. It's a company from China. It's the most common um, brand that you would find in Chinese grocery stores. And I have uh, four small bundles of mung bean vermicelli. Each bundle is about 40 grams. So you should have about 160 grams total of mung bean vermicelli. Okay, so I'm, I got to walk on high heat here. I'm going to apply a Give it uh, two tablespoons of cooking oil. Get swirl it around, and then I'm gonna add the ginger to it. I'm gonna fry that for maybe 20-30 seconds, and then we're gonna add the can of Lohan Jai or Buddhist Vegetarian Feast. So the can of Lohan Jai, different brands have different things in it. This particular one has uh, wheat gluten, bean curd, uh, oyster mushroom, carrots. Uh, I believe it has ear, um, wood ear fungus as well. Okay, so after I stirred uh, the Lohan Jai around for a bit, I added four cups of water. So one cup of water for each small bundle of mung bean vermicelli. So four cups of water for 160 grams of mung bean vermicelli noodles. I'm going to add the seasoning now. So I'm going to add one tablespoon of vegetarian oyster sauce. It doesn't have oysters in it. Vegetarian oyster sauce has mushroom extracts in it. That gives it almost an oyster sauce type flavor. So I'm going to give it uh, one tablespoon of soy sauce. one teaspoon of sugar and one teaspoon of sesame oil come like I'm letting that come to a boil then I'm going to add the mung bean vermicelli. So four small bundles. Sometimes uh, when you buy the mung bean vermicelli in a dried form, it could come in bigger bundles too. So if it doesn't look like your bundles are small, you might want to weigh it out. So for this dish, I'll need 160 grams of mung bean vermicelli. So 
So once the noodles are soft, softened up in the water, you want to kind of move it around, have it separate, open up. Okay, so maybe five, six minutes have passed by. Um, a lot of the liquid has been absorbed into the noodles, so there's less water. But basically, you want to kind of stir fry this dish until most of the water is gone. And you want to make sure you kind of stir around the bottom of the wok too so that the noodles don't stick to the bottom and burn. You want to kind of loosen up all the stuff that's stuck to the bottom of the wok and give it a stir. And then once most of the liquid's gone, it's, once it looks like a fairly dry noodle, then you can, you can uh, dish it up. Okay, so it's done. Turn the heat off and we're gonna transfer it over to our serving dish. So this is a dish that my grandmother usually makes once in a while when I was growing up. It was her simplified low hanjai or Buddhist veg vegetarian feast. It was mostly mung bean vermicelli, but then it had the can of the low hanjai as well. So, so technically it would be a type of low hanjai, but mostly mung bean vermicelli. It was more like a noodle dish, I guess. Okay, uh, I'm going to serve it up. And I see that that can of Lohan Jai has bamboo shoots in it as well. So bamboo shoots, wheat gluten, fried tofu, carrots, straw mushrooms. Okay, bon appetit.